Hi everyone, this is your instructor Deborah, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how to insert and modify a SmartArt graphic object in a Word 2016 document. SmartArt is a digital method of creating a flowchart, and to do it in the Insert tab here at the top of the screen, you click Insert, and in the Illustrations group, Go up here and click SmartArt. Actually, before you click SmartArt, if you just hover your mouse over the SmartArt button, a screen tip comes out explaining what SmartArt is. And then if you want to learn more about it or how to use it, you can click right here, Tell Me More. And then the Help window um, opens up over here on the right-hand side. You do have to be online to do this, so otherwise it won't work. And then from here, you can click different topics to, to look at. So I'm going to close the help window right now. I don't need to be online right now. And I'm going to go ahead and click Smart Art. And when I do that, the Choose a Smart Art graphic appears. And in this dialog box, you have lots of different types to choose from. The first setting that you see is called All. And what that does is it lists all the different types under all of these different categories at once. And you can click over here on the scroll bar to scroll through the different forms, the different styles of smart art figures. Each one has is within its own category. For example, all of these are inside the category called cycle. And if I am at the top looking at just list or something else, I can click one of the category names over here on the left and it will take me instantly to that category only and I can see all of the figure types there. On the right hand side you'll see a preview screen that uh, depicts what it will look like when you insert, insert it onto the page and it also offers a definition or explanation of what this is for. In other words, the best matchup between the smart art object and the type of data you want to illustrate. So in this demonstration, I'm going to go into the process category and I'm going to choose, scroll down and just choose something that can illustrate a sequential process. So let's say I choose this one. Okay, here's what it will look like. And when I'm finished, I click, I know that that's the one I selected because it has a selection box around it. And then over here in the lower right corner, I click OK. When I do that, the smart art figure opens up on my screen and it's ready for me to start entering information into it. At the same time, you'll notice that there's a frame all the way around the whole smart art. It's just like a box with little white circles. These are called resizing circles and you can click and drag these to make your smart art bigger or smaller however you want it to look. At the same time that this is selected you can look up here at the top and there is something called a smart art tools bar. This is a contextual toolbar that appears only when this object is selected. If I click away from the smart art into the blank page area then the smart art tools go away and I'm back to the normal ribbon of Word. But if I want it to come back I just click anywhere on the smart art and again those tools will reappear. And it looks like there are two different tabs under the smart art tools. We have design and if you want to see it you click on it, design choices or format choices. Let's look at the design choices first. You have ability to change instantly the type of smart art that you uh, have on your screen. You can click the drop down list and just choose something different if you decide to change your mind about how you want it to look. Click away from that. You can also change colors and make your smart art look a little brighter or more, uh, more dynamic. And you can also choose a smart art style to make it stand out just a little bit more. There are 3D effects you can apply. You can even make it tilt back. There's lots of different ways you can make your smart art look. 
So now what about the text? You can see in each figure of the smart art, you have in brackets the word text, which means that's where your words will show up if you want to type characters in there, letters, numbers, whatever you want. So to bring that out, to make this typable, you can click right in it, just like I just did, and I can uh, type whatever it is I want to type. And as I type, if I type more than uh, one or two words, it will automatically resize the font to make it fit inside the step object. Another way to do this is to click this little uh, tag or piece. I call it a doohickey. It's just what I call it. And if you click on this little thing here, it will open up the pane that you can use to type in your text and uh, actually work with it a little bit easier. So I already did the first one. I'm going to click into the second bullet here, which will instantly activate this next piece of the smart art, and I can start typing. And I can click into each one. If I can learn how to type. And just enter what it is I want to put. I keep making mistakes. Let me put this in here. Step four, and over here, step five. Okay, so when you're doing that, you might look at these steps and you might decide, gee, you know, this step here that's under step two really needs to switch out with step three. These need to be switched with each other. So can you click and drag these? No. If you try doing that, look what happens. If I click and drag step two, first of all, it won't go outside the smart art. If I try to put it outside the smart art, it ends up there. So I'm going to undo that. Or if I try to move it over here to try to insert it instead of the step three, again, it just doesn't work that way. So when you want to switch something out or move it, what you would do is select single click on the piece you want to move and then up here in the create graphic group on the design tab of the smart art tools design you can click move up or move down okay let's say I want to move it down one so if I click that step two moves over here and step three switched with it. Now, of course, I would retype these. This would now become step two. This would now become step three. So you can see how you can move things up or down. You can also demote something. Let's say I want this to be a demotion or a sub area of this over here on the left. So if I click on this one and then over here click demote, look what it did. It created a bullet, like a bulleted step indented it and made it smaller so that you understand that under this step one, this piece is, has to be done all together here. So, I mean, there's a lot of versatility. So I'm going to go ahead and undo what I just did. And so there's lots of things you can do here with SmartArt to make it work for you. In the format area, you can make other choices about your SmartArt. Notice that if I'm clicking in the blank area of the of the whole smart art piece not on one of the steps but in the blank area inside the box if I click on that then some of these things become grayed out some of these tools are not available they're only available if you actually click on one of the objects in the smart art. Now that I've clicked on one, now a lot of these tools are now available. And you can use word art if you want. You can change the wording, the font style, uh, you can do it on just one piece or you can do it on the whole piece. If I click away from that and just I'm in the general area here and I do that, it will make the step, uh, the changes to the font to all the pieces. You can put in some outlines, you can do text effects, there's all kinds of things you can do here. And don't forget about this. This is the layout options little uh, icon. When you click on that, this is where you can make choices about how your smart art will sit 
in your document. Right now I don't have any text or paragraphs of, of text anywhere else in the document. I just have the smart art, but in a document that does have words in it, text, you can choose here how the smart art will sit and fit itself into your text or around your text. So you have lots of different layout options. I'm going to close this little pane. And I'm also going to close type your text here, the smart art pane. Again, if you want it again, you just click this little icon here, the little arrow, and it brings it right back. And so that's basically how you can use smart art to show processes, hierarchies, steps, and cycles.